Are you looking for a tool that checks your starter, AC compressor, and fuel pump? Are you looking for a tool that checks the circuitry of those components? That magical tool is known as a Kelvan Relay Circuit Diagnostic Tool, part number 76. I'll show you what it does. Pros, it comes in a nice sturdy case. The con, the price. Hook it up to the battery and substitute the appropriate relay. Here, we're testing the starter and neighbor relay. And now that everything's connected, with the push of this 87 button, the starter should engage. And just like that, we tested our starter. Now I'll show you what these lights mean in a second. Pro, the kit comes with many adapters. Con, I have a 2002 Ford Mustang and it does not fit the fuse box. These are way too big. So our starter enable relay has four pins, 30, 86, 85, and 87. This tool monitors those pins. Each pin has a pair of lights and a place where you can measure voltage. Red means power, green means ground. According to their demo video, only one light should illuminate on each pair. If both lights illuminate at the same time, that means we have a short, but do we? Let's take a look at the wiring diagram. According to the wiring diagram, one of our pins should run battery power at all times. Pin 30 is lighting up as hot. Let's check it with the multimeter. Battery voltage. In our chart, we have identified pin 30 and pin 87. And finally, one of these pins should show battery voltage when we crank the vehicle. Now I did that off camera and it turns out to be pin 85. So how is it showing ground and hot at the same time? Is it really a short? Well, according to our diagram here, when the key is off, we have ground going all the way to the ignition switch. When we crank the vehicle, the ignition switch completes the circuit and we get reverse polarity on that wire. According to our wiring diagram, there should be no voltage running through pin 85 until we crank the vehicle. So let's do one final test. Pin 30, battery voltage. Now pin 85 should show zero volts at the moment. Ooh, six volts on pin 85. That means we do have a short or a problem somewhere. Using this tool, we have identified a problem. Pro, the LEDs are a nice feature. If you know how to read a diagram, these can be very helpful. Con, if you're a beginner, this can throw you easily, easily off course. In conclusion, the big question is, do I recommend this tool? For a beginner, no. But if you're going to be doing a lot of electronic diagnostics, then yes, get it. It's worth the money. My name is Noel. Have a good day, you guys.